This instructional video is designed to show you how to derive a Maxwell relation when given two differential forms of a thermodynamic energy. Here we have the calculus version where we know that the internal energy is a function of entropy and volume. And so we're able to write out the total differential by using partials. Here we have the thermodynamic form where we have specific quantities tied to dS and dV. Since both of these things are equal to du, they are equal to each other. So this entire quantity is equal to this entire quantity. And in order for all of that to be true, the partial must equal the quantity itself. So we can write out that partial u, partial s, is equal to the temperature, because that's our ds portion. And that partial u, partial v, going to be equal to minus P. So now that we have the uh, partials and the quantities being equal to each other, the next thing we can do is recognize that if we take second mixed partials, these are going to be equal. If we already have the partial for S, then what we're going to do in uh, green here is we're going to take the partial with respect to V on both sides. And here we're going to take the partial respect to S on both sides. So this gives us then that the second mixed partial, partial V, partial S, has to be equal to partial T, partial V. And here second mixed partial, partial S, partial V, is going to be partial P, partial S, with the appropriate sign. So now what we have are two second mixed partials. We set these equal to each other, and this allows us to have a Maxwell relation, which I'll uh, go back to black. So we have that this quantity, partial T, partial V, and because we took the second partial with volume, then we assume S is constant. It's going to be minus partial P, partial S. And since this was taken with S, we have V. So the resulting quantity here is the Maxwell relation. And you can actually derive these for all of your principal thermodynamic energies for U, H, A, and G.